Just a final note of the Bible says this, what say you? I have in my hand here uh, a copy of the magazine In Touch. And, uh, and this is dealing with, this, you know, Kurt Franklin and the homosexual, homophobic manual and how the heretic Carlton Pearson came to uh, agree with old Kurt as they apologized for the church. But here I have a story in In Touch magazine about uh, this, I, this girl. I don't know anything about it. This girl named Kenra. And Kenra was married, uh, alleged, I guess she's married to this guy, Hank Basket. Yes, sir. Hank Basket. Hank Basket, uh, I don't know if he still plays or not, but a wide receiver, Philadelphia Eagles, 6'4", 220-pound brother, big guy, in touch, has this story on him. Now, I'm not making this up. This is public. And uh, uh, the, the, the little caption says this. Someone speaking for Kendra says, it's not just the humiliation of everyone knowing that Hank cheated says the friend, but that it was with a transsexual. It makes Kendra sick. Now, Kendra knows, according to this, I don't know, I've never seen that show, my daughter's going to tell you more about it, but according to this, you know, Kendra knows that it's bad enough. It's plenty bad for a husband to cheat on his wife. But Kendra can't hardly deal with knowing that the man cheated on her and went with a man. Now, Crystal, what happened? Well, supposedly this Ava London has his own YouTube channel, and it is widely known that Ava is a transsexual. Um, Ava is a man. A man, okay. And supposedly Hank was supposed to be a fan of Ava's and went to his home. A fan of Ava's. A fan of Ava's and... Uh, although he paid for them to get together. What? This person later comes out and tells about everything that happened. I'm sure more, <sighs> many of you know uh, what this person, what Ava said happened. It was humiliating. What? what I, 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 I know you don't. What, what did Ava say happened? I, I don't keep up with this. But my point is, it, it's amazing how the gospel singer mm -hmm. and the gospel preacher, they are trying to make this homosexuality the LGBTQ community seems normal, but here's a girl, she doesn't attend up a room. She's not, she's not influenced by Patrick Wooden at all. She's not Church of God in Christ. She's not uh, uh, a member of the, of, of the Baptist church that I know of. She's not a conservative. If I would meet her, we probably don't agree on anything. Mm -hmm. but, but, but somehow, somehow, uh, you know, she knows that it's somehow worse. It's mm -hmm. that, that, that her man uh, got sexually turned on by a man. Now, Crystal, what happened? What did they do? I, I want the detail. <laughs> well, supposedly... According to what, Ava, I, of course, wasn't there, but from what he said, uh, Hank went to his home and they were touching and kissing and just spending that kind of time together. And allegedly, when Ava put his male genitalia near Hank's mouth, um, not in, but near Hank's mouth, that's when Hank really got excited and had to go and take a shower and uh, just a very <sighs> curious uh, embarrassing situation and 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 on one hand it is a little comical but in reality this is a woman who the world now knows that this is what happened with her husband and while we're talking about apologies this kind of behavior or this this down low behavior we all know has been something that has been going on I would say in the African-American community but in hum humanity for far too long, but it, it has become accepted and popular um, and expected in the black church. And I wish that someone would apologize to so many of the black women mm, who are in mm, the black church, mm. who are attending churches. You are so right. They're single. They want to be married. They're looking for a husband. They are praying for her for a husband. They believe God for a husband, but they don't know that their pastor is not preaching a gospel that is challenging the men in their churches, the guys in the tenor section, the guys in the band, the guys in the pews to be straight and actually want a woman. Mm. So many times they are attending churches mm. and putting mm -hmm. money into a system that is perpetrating uh, the singleness and the loneliness that they are experiencing because the men all around them 
many times do not want women and it is tragic and it is embarrassing and if you go to a lot of the churches and you see some of the culture it has become something that women have settled with mm. of marrying feminine mm. effeminate young men mm. of marrying men with questionable past of marrying mm. men when sometimes they know and have received evidence that this young man is suspect but because it has become tolerated in the church she believes that she can deal with it. And whatever our pastors and our teachers and even our musical artists tolerate and allow to go on, that gives it a stamp of approval to say that it's okay. And it's not. You have spoken the truth of God. And my friends, we're wrapping this up. We're done. Uh, I mean that uh, a guy named Hank would visit a guy named Ava. That's messed up. Hey, fellas. The Bible says this, Proverbs uh, chapter 5, verse 15 and, and 16. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and run in waters out of thine own well. Let thy fountain be dispersed abroad in rivers, and rivers of waters in the streets. That is, uh, count or talk about the wonderfulness of your marriage, and enjoy your own wife. It goes on to say in verse 18, well, verse 17 and 18 says, let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee. Have your own wife and not a stranger. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Hank, why would you visit a man named Ava? But God bless Kendra. She even knew, even though Kurt Franklin doesn't know, even though the heretic, Carlton Pearson, doesn't understand this. She knows that there's something demonic, something sinister, something wrong when her, when her Adonis, he man, six foot four inch, 200 plus pound husband would be even caught dead or mentioned in the same sentence with a mutilated, messed up man. This is what the Bible says. What say you?